I've read a lot of articles and subreddits from people that worked at a big tech company and people that worked at a small startup. And the difference actually made me think how much these two really differ. So in today's video, I'm gonna be going over these 10 categories, comparing the experience from people that worked at a big tech company and people that worked in a small tech startup. I don't know if you've seen the latest survey results from Stack Overflow, but apparently a lot of people are not happy at work. I don't know why that is, but my guess is has a lot to do about the culture. And for some context, the data from Culture Amp's recent reports on what new tech employees indicate that people who work at the most engaged companies are 20% more likely to recommend their company to a friend and 30% less likely to look for a job elsewhere. And there's a loads of other reports to show that the culture really affects the people that work in there and it really affects the performance of the company in terms of their goals. Now, a lot of companies will just put their core values or core principles on their LinkedIn page and expect people to just follow these without actually demonstrating or someone leading by example and showing how these are implemented in day-to-day -day basis. But this video is not actually about implementing great culture, so let's dive into some of the comparisons. Now, I think the nature of big tech companies and small startups is kind of on different sides of the spectrum. Big tech companies really focus on improving their profitability and the goals, yearly goals and whatever. And because they have a lot of employees, they have to have a lot of processes in order to make sure everything runs smoothly. Whereas in a small startup, things are usually more chaotic. People wear many hats and try to figure out things just to make things working, which can also be a very exciting place to work at without much rules, with more chance to learn and more chance to experience a variety of different things. Okay, the first category is the work environment. Like I already mentioned, if someone works at a big tech company, they might find themselves in a very structured workplace. For example, one employee shared how their workday was filled with Kafkaesque experiences, such as leading approval for orientation. But despite the bureaucracy, the structure and defined roles made them easier to navigate once they got the hang of it. Now, for contrast, in a startup, like I said, things will be more chaotic. And one person shared how they had to wear many hats like writing code or assembling desks and this versatility allowed them to rise to any challenge and make their day unpredictable and interesting. But when it comes to learning and growth, there was one, someone that shared that at Uber, because the learning is structured in a way that has a lot of resources, they were able to specialize in rider payments. The company resources allowed them to work on cutting edge technologies and specialize in them. But the limited structure sometimes limited their ability to try something new and experience a new technology. Whereas at the startup, William's experience at his startup price calendar was much different. They, he had to jump into very different roles from coding to de strategic decision making. But this actually allows to broaden the knowledge and skills of someone rather than specialize in one vertical only. And that can also be a good thing to experience different stuff and realize maybe you can do something else better. And when it comes to impact and responsibility in a big startup, like for example, Uber, someone might not see their, their impact immediately because there's multiple approvals that are needed in order to get the code to production even. And then decision-making is made with multiple people. So the impact doesn't feel personal, but the scale of the impact can be very big because of the scale of the company and the application. In a startup, someone's impact is very visible and direct and one Reddit user shared how they built a feature during the Christmas hackathon and they launched it a month later, which allows to see the impact and, and the benefits of their work, making their comp contribution feel more meaningful. When it comes to advancement in your career, in a big startup, the career paths are very well defined. So this can make it easy to understand and plan for a future career path but it also means that it's going to take longer to get to that end goal. Whereas in the startup, people can rise to leadership ranks very quickly. Willem at the startup rise calendar, he managed to rise to leadership position very quickly because the teams are smaller and when opportunity arises as the product scale, this position needs to be filled and it's a great opportunity to just rise up to the challenge and get to that end goal faster. I mean, with all of this, pretty much it's going to be that big tech companies are more stable, but things are slower, whereas in the startup, things are way faster, but really unpredictable. And work-life balance is no exception. Usually in a big tech company, you would have more stable work hours, more predictable and flexible, depending on the company. However, the high performance expectation was, could still 
lead to stress. Whereas obviously in a startup, even though this still might be true, people still might respect those nine to five hours, but usually the hours are more unpredictable. And someone actually shared on Reddit that because they feel they, they feel very overwhelmed and an unfiltered job at a big tech company, they wanted to try a startup because they wanted the, the dynamic environment, which would offer better work-life balance, even though it would mean longer hours. And when it comes to compensation, again, in a big tech company, they would pay more for certain roles and having that stability is really helpful when it comes to long-term planning. Where in a startup, you might get paid less, but the opportunity that it comes with the with the chance that the startup is going to take off is huge. I mean, a lot of NVIDIA developers became millionaires in the past year because even though NVIDIA is not a startup, but a lot of the employees that were still there from the start, they had a lot of equity and their options in stock just, just increased a lot and now they have more money. Well, I've got three more left. When it comes to job security, I think this in the past year has been very volatile everywhere, even in big tech companies, but big startups can really just die from one day to the next and they lay off everyone, the company goes bankrupt. So that is a big risk and that's why sometimes people are scared jumping into roles like this because you don't have the same security as you would in a big tech company, even though, like I said, in the past year, a lot of the big tech companies fired a lot of people. And when it comes to networking, now this can be a big mixed bag depending on how the big tech companies structure their teams. For example, my experience in a kind of a big tech company is that my team is has been great and really close, but sometimes in a very big company, you can feel a bit, I guess you could feel distance from a lot of people because there's just so much people. And whereas in a startup, usually teams are very close knit and the connections can be stronger. But again, this is kind of a mixed bag depending on how the culture is in both places, basically. And when it comes to the actual culture of the company, the startups usually have a very dynamic culture because they're just starting to set up stuff set up the teams and the company and the, everything around it and it could feel like a like a strong sense of camaraderie and shared mission because everyone's just working towards the same goal whereas in a big tech company a lot of them have great culture but they would also have a lot of structure and and the social dynamics could sometimes feel impersonal also when it comes to learning i think in a bigger companies you have more experience you have more chance to screw up and try to get things right and have someone there to mentor you. But if you're a very fast learner and you like the, the chaotic environments, then maybe a startup is for you. A little bit of a different video today, but hope you like it. Uh, if, you have any, if you have any experience with either working in a big tech company or a startup, put your experience down below in the comments. I'm gonna be replying on all the comments. I'm interested to see what people's experience are. Maybe, maybe what I've shared here doesn't really match your experience. So yeah, let me know down in the comments below. But that's been it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the day. Happy coding. Bye.